outdoors and today I have a mystery tackle box actually, I actually have two of them we're gonna do um, I got these at the Academy they were having a sale so I actually only paid $15 um, and I was looking back underneath the shelves and I actually found two of them this is box number 66 and then I also have box number three these are saltwater fishing kits inshore so they also have bass fishing, pan fishing, um, different ones you want to, you want to, depending on how, what you fish for. And also we're just going to go through these and see what's in them. So if you decide to get one, you know, I'm, I'm guessing that if you go get a box, it's number 66, should have the same stuff. So put that back there. This is what they all look like. They come all written on and different little designs when you open it up you can always do these contests where they say if you catch a fish measure it on here whatever fish it is like panfish trout bass measure it on here if it's legal and then you share it and you could you know enter to win in the contest i've never done that this is my first actual mystery tackle box i did a guggen squad box um and it was really nice i still got a bunch of my baits um but we'll go through this and i'll show you what come come in it have a casting spoon by salt native three quarter ounce these would be really good for man somebody's going crazy this would be really good for spanish um especially when they start running really good uh bluefish Man, can't hold them or nothing. So, like I said, it's silver. It's a nice little spoon. Got this small little. <clears throat> what is this? A yo, yo zuri. It's a little shad color, which this should work really good when the menhaden start coming in. It's a citrus shad. Uh, number eight hook. I don't know if it says how heavy it is. Yeah, 3 8 of an ounce. It's a good color, too. They got a pack of hooks. Katana hooks. Um, these would be pretty good. Got some really good points on them. The normal paperwork that comes with your mystery tackle box. We got some holographic lures by Grand Bay Lures. These will be really good they look like they have a uh, some kind of oil on them you can tell in the package how they would run it's probably just keep them getting stuck together this is the boot tail minnow four pack four inch these are be really good out there catching specks and then looks like our last one is some storm 360 gt coastals a large was a largo shad yeah four inch now these are really good for redfish um i fish off the bridge mostly so you know you they've got a good weight on them too you can catch catch pretty much anything out there um i've seen i've seen some uh, big jack Cravel come through uh when they really start piling through you can uh get a good chance at catching one with this here and it's got a good weight to it. Let's see here. 3 sixteenths. It's got, I don't know what weight that is. It's called a tiger style. Anyways, it's got, it, it'll get off there so you can throw it pretty far. So we're gonna try that out. And then as always, you always get a, a sticker. So you got us a mystery tackle box sticker. Put all this back in here and we'll go through my other one. Close this back up. Sit it back here. 
All right. Another thing too you can do when you're picking out your boxes, actually feel them. This one is actually heavier. So I knew I had probably something pretty decent size in here. So let's see what we got here. This is box number three again. The other one was number 66. Same, same design on the box. All your paperwork. We've got this uh, live shrimp rig. Has a three pack, two alt hooks. I don't use these too much. I like to tie my own, but you know, in a pinch when you need some, you know, I got them here. And then this was another one of those salt native. This is a really nice, it's called a beast walker. Top water walking bait. And it is in the glow stick. Three eighths ounce, five inch, one and three eighths ounce, I'm sorry. So that right there would be really good when they start hitting top water out in the bays out there on some grass flats. And then they got a, a Badonka Donk by Bomber. I like Bomber lures. As y'all know, I have other videos where I actually take the treble hooks off and I make uh, demon dragons out of these for catfish. And this has got a really good really good rattle to it but I'm probably not going to do that I need some top waters I done messed up all the other ones I had so I have used these before to catch specks and redfish and bluefish bluefish love these they'll end up they'll bite the tail off but um if you want if you like bluefish like to eat them or just like to catch them they're fun you know throw one of these on throw it out there and just not a real heavy weight and just kind of bump it across the top and when that thing flashes, man, they'll they'll tear the tail off of it. And then the last thing in the box, I have never fished with. These are called Castatic soft baits. These are Jerky J's five inch boneless chicken co uh, colored is what they're supposed to be. They got some good good look to them. Um, I'm pretty sure that would be a really good for redfish. Just kind of doing a little jerk bait across the water when they're in there uh, getting ready to spawn. So it's a, I mean, this is a really good, really good box. Um, I actually went on and I've already went through these boxes to see if I got a good deal. Uh, the big box here, box number three, you know, like I said, $15 for each, but I ended up, uh, I think this one ended up being about $45 worth of stuff. If you actually look it up, uh, Tackle Warehouse and stuff like that, um, all of it together. Uh, this one, not quite as much, but still, you know, I definitely made my money back without a doubt. So, and then like I said, you get a sticker. So thank y'all for joining me and Aiden and watching my videos. And uh, by the way, we made a hundred subscribers. And uh, it's getting, getting time to start going fishing again. <coughs> I then decided not to do anything fishing wise right now during 2020 until we get to a different year. So 2021 is gonna be our year and we're gonna get this channel through the roof, ain't we, Aiden? Mm -hmm. That's right. We're gonna show them how it's done. <laughs> Might even try and get together and do some collabs with some local fishermen uh, i know there's several youtube channels here in pensacola um i'd like to get with some of them and maybe go fishing and you know see what we can get into so i'm gonna leave it at that and again thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe and uh thanks for everything you do for us i appreciate it and uh thanks for watching and anything you want to say to them maybe <laughs> no, you, you got to get better. <laughs> All right, guys. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next video.